Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jones from drbean.com. Today in the psychiatry series, we're going to be talking about catatonia. In this lecture, we'll talk about the presentation, diagnosis, and treatment approaches to catatonia. So what is catatonia? Well, catatonia is an abnormal neuropsychiatric condition that affects both behavior and motor function, and it results in unresponsiveness in someone who otherwise appears to be awake. For the purpose of diagnosis, there are three types of catatonia. These include catatonia associated with, with another mental disorder, catatonia disorder due to another medical condition, and unspecified catatonia. Although often associated with schizophrenia and other affective disorders, catatonia may be a result of or due to any number of psychotic disorders, mood disorders, or general medical conditions. Catatonia is sometimes referred to as catatonic syndrome because there is not just one identifying sign or symptom associated with a condition or symptoms that appear separately from one another, but rather a collection of several symptoms that appear together at the same time. These specific signs and symptoms do not vary, regardless of the nature of the condition. In terms of symptoms, well, catatonia can be stuporous or excited. Stuporous catatonia is characterized by immobility, during which people may hold rigid poses, so stupor, an inability to speak, mutism, as well as waxy flexibility, in which they maintain positions after being placed in them by someone else. Mutism may be partial, and they may repeat meaningless phrases or speak only to repeat what someone else says. People with stuporous catatonia may also show stereotyped repetitive movements. This is stereotypy. Excited catatonia, on the other hand, is characterized by bizarre, non-goal-directed hyperactivity and impulsivity. So, how do you diagnose this condition? Well, according to DSM-5, at least 3 out of 12 symptoms must be present for a diagnosis of catatonia. These symptoms include stupor, so oblivious inability to move, to respond to stimuli, catalepsy, so rigid body posture, mutism, so little to no verbal contact, waxy flexibility, body remains in whatever position it is placed in, negativism, lack of verbal response, posturing, holding a posture or position that goes against gravity, Mannerisms, extreme or odd movements and mannerisms, stereotypy, frequent repetitive movements for no reason, agitation for no reason, grimacing, disorientated facial expressions, echolalia is repeating other people's words, echopraxia repeating other people's movements. When catatonia is associated with schizophrenia, Stupor may continue for long periods of time, as compared to schizophrenia associated with other psychiatric conditions where they are likely to be long remissions. So what causes catatonia? Well, cat Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and if possible, share it with your friends as well.